in this video we look at um, one of the reasons why I think the start menu was not uh, if you look at the videos I did in the past I showed you how to actually install the start 8 in order to get your start um, button back but um, I actually found out that I wasn't really in need of the start button because uh, Microsoft has thought everything out properly because I wasn't using the start button at all. It was actually becoming a nuisance because every time I press the uh, home key to go back to the desktop, it was uh, kind of confusing because it keep uh, bringing. That's why you see I've actually removed the start button that I had there initially. So I'll show you one of the reasons why you don't need it. So let's look at how to make that uh in, in or needed so what we'll do is uh, we'll look at all the programs that we have installed as you can see i have a lot of uh, modern apps and i have all my windows legacy apps and stuff so let's uh, add some uh, some of the most used application let's we we'll pin this one to the task bar uh, what else do we use uh, constantly microsoft word Paint this to the task bar but we've already pinned that one so PowerPoint paint to task bar the calculator where's the calculator I saw the calculator just now paint to task bar um, what else do we use constantly that we use all the time run okay cancel I was going to Let's go back to all apps. Uh, kind of okay. Paint to task bar as well. Task manager. Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to click on it. Let's uh, go back. Because I'm using a trackpad, so it's very kind of complicated. Right clicking and stuff. I have to use my two fingers. Okay. Same problem. Let's go back. We'll be fine okay all right on pin from task bar run oh sorry i want the task manager pin to task bar what else do we need a uh, computer pin to task pin to start manage properties manage so this one doesn't have the ability to okay windows media player mean this media player paint to task bar as well what else have, do we need so sticky notes paint to task bar so you get the idea any application that you want paint to task bar so also you have another option you can uh, control panel you can pin this to ta start, run, pin to start. Let's add a few more word, pin to start, um, PowerPoint, pin to start. So that's fine. Now let's go back home. So if we go back, we see that when we are in, on the start screen we can easily launch any of this application from here I can even launch my disk local disk so I can click on disk and it would take me to my local disk and uh, if I want to launch run with one click I can launch it let's look at the word Microsoft Word where is where are you where are you Excel OneNote it looks like uh, I did not add it anyway never mind but if we go back to the desktop as you see there is no point for me to have a start built-in because most of the used application I have here control panel is here look at the control panel with one click I can launch it uh, calculator with one click my run one click it's there this is the task manager very easy to launch media player that's the first time I'm launching it and uh, as you can see very 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 fast indeed window 8 is a beauty and my um, 
what are they called sticky notes are you sure you want to delete it yes of course so as you can see this is the reason why you don't need a start button you can uh, there is no need for it because all the things that you need they are at one click away so there's no point having any start button to just clutter your desk or extra processes running on your system by installing some of this uh, start button tool for Windows 8. I just want to show you that. I hope you find it useful. Thank you.